Hello, I'm Pika, and welcome back. I'm just gonna cut right to it. Love it or hate it, we've all been spawn camped before. Your team just got wiped, and the enemy team sprinted forward into your spawn while you were stuck respawning, and now you have to keep trying to fight through them before being able to reach any meaningful part of the map. Getting spawn camps can be extremely frustrating and challenging to break out of, but I assure you there are reliable ways to work your way out of it. I'll be going over the best strats you can use for this in just a moment, but first, let's review how situations that lead to you getting spawn camps can come up in the first place, and how you can avoid them more often. The most important thing to be on the lookout for to avoid getting spawn camped is something some players call staggered spawns. The meaning is pretty straightforward. Basically, a team's respawns become staggered once they enter a cycle where one or more players go down as soon as previous teammates just respawned. It's not too unusual or problematic if this happens momentarily, but if your team starts a chain where part of the team is continually taking fights and losing while another part of the team is stuck in the respawn timer unable to help, your team will be at a disadvantage for more time than if you had just been wiped out, and will likely keep getting pushed back into your base until it's all you have left. Prolonged staggered spawns open up a prime opportunity for your team to start getting spawn camped, so our main solutions will be designed to resync the timing of your team's spawns and do what we can to avoid starting a stagger in the first place. Now to talk strategy. The most simple way for us to avoid giving our opponents openings to take our base is to avoid unnecessary risks, especially when our team is already stuck on defense and at a disadvantage, either in terms of turf control or current players alive. In situations where the other team has the majority of the map controlled already, they also have access to more positions and more space to move around in than we do, so it's difficult to know exactly where everyone could be playing from. In these situations, it's fine to just take things slow. Make sure not to stand too close to enemy ink when we can help it, and don't get too close to ledges without clearing the area nearby and underneath them first. As in both of these cases, we're open to getting ambushed by an opponent who's sharking in their ink nearby, or getting stuck in enemy ink with nowhere to hide before we get picked off. And again, since the other team already has most of the map in their color by that point, the only space left for them to take is directly in your spawn, so that's most likely where they're heading next with the opening that Splat just gave them. Luckily, it usually doesn't take much to ensure the area around you is safe. Again, just stay disciplined about keeping a good amount of ink around you so you have time to react, and a path out to escape if needed. And use either your main, sub, or special weapon to find and displace potential enemies hiding beneath ledges before you get too close to them or decide to drop down. Another quick note on this. These habits are useful in general for staying alive, but they're even more important to keep in mind if your team is already down by a few players currently. If you're stuck on your own for a moment, as long as you have time to wait, it's typically best to play things safe and avoid risky situations until your teammates respawn and are back with you. Otherwise, you'll not only be taking fights alone with no support, but you're also setting things up to start the exact staggered spawn situation we just talked about. Trust me, I know it's fun to go for epic hero plays sometimes, but more often than not we'd be much better off taking a chill pill, charging our special, and waiting a few extra seconds for some backup. Sometimes, despite our best efforts though, things can still go wrong. So what can we do to stop getting spawn camped once it's started? The most immediate solution is to look for an alternate way out of your spawn to get back to the center of the map. Many stages provide multiple routes to take right out of the gate, and if you can slip out of any of them, you can completely bypass the spawn camp setup the other team has, and freely run off with the ranked objective or go crazy painting uncontested in turf war until they realize what's going on and have to come chase you. For a more team-oriented approach, you can also use your opening as an opportunity to flank the enemies holding your spawn from behind and clear them out. Also, keep in mind that if you see a teammate of yours get away with this, you can super jump to them and also completely avoid the spawn campers. Speaking of super jumps, I want to give a shout out to Squid Beacons and Big Bubblers here too. If you or a teammate has one of these in their kit and has been placing them down, they're another great way to bypass spawn campers for the same reason. Either the enemy has to go out of their way to break the beacons or bubbles after they kill you before going to your spawn and therefore give you extra time to respawn safely, or they choose to ignore the beacons and you can just super jump in and avoid them entirely. Just like before though, if you're either getting spawn camped so hard that all routes out of your spawn are blocked, or if you're stuck playing on one of the stages that doesn't offer much flexibility, we'll have to find another solution. And the best option at this point is surprisingly simple. People have so much fun flying out of their spawners that they tend to forget you can actually just sit in them for as long as you need. Remember what I said about staggered spawns before? As long as we're taking fights alone, not only are we using an easy kill, but we're also extending the amount of time our team is stuck in disadvantage while we wait to respawn again. Especially once you're completely spawn locked, the best way to stop a stagger and attempt to fight back as a team might just be to wait inside your spawner until your whole team is done respawning and is also sitting in theirs, at which point you can all launch down to the ground at the same time and fight the spawn campers together. 
On top of the direct advantage you get from this in numbers, everyone is also granted an armor effect for a few seconds after they respawn, which is indicated by the glowing visual your character has. This armor will absorb damage for you while it's active, so if you're ready to dive straight into a fight with your team right off a of spawn while you still have it, you should be able to easily punish any opponent who strayed too far into your spawn and gotten greedy, and start your comeback push back into the map. And there you have it. These habits may take a bit of time to remember and get the hang of using in the moment, but I promise they'll help you out nonetheless. I've seen several posts by now complaining about spawn camping and wondering if there's any ways to deal with it, so I figured why not make a video about it. Consider liking and subscribing for more Splatoon 3 guides like this. It might be a little while until I have more time to work on videos since college finals are right around the corner currently, but we'll make it work. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.